two of the fucking best Fight Club. I need all the energy you have one more time. Are you ready for this main event? <laughs> We're gonna meet them now. Introducing first, she grew out of her goth phase, but still hasn't grown out of her cunt phase. Jess Phoenix! <laughs> More than jets, I like more than sex. Wow. But nothing in this world that I like more than checks. Money. We're gonna meet her opponent now. He looks like an emo kid fucked a boy band. Give it up for Marilyn Hansen, Steven Bowles! <laughs> Four jokes, tit for tat, and round one. Which one of you guys wants to kick us off? I'll go first. Jess is going first. Steven's going second. Two of the fucking best fight club. You ready to kick off this fight? <laughs> Four jokes, tit for tat. This main event starts now. Round one. All right. What do Steven's wife and his former guitar teacher have in common? What? They're both unimpressed with his fingering. <laughs> First blood. Jess, you raccoon face cunt. Uh, <laughs> what's the difference between Jess and a raccoon? What? When the raccoon's digging through trash, it's not looking for needles. <laughs> Catch me outside, how about that? Steven's hobbies include ukulele, beatboxing, and of course, stand up comedy. Uh, <laughs> Notice I said hobbies and not talents. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. That's funny. Jess performs stand-up with an acoustic guitar, and every song is titled Perfect Time for a Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect time. It's always a good time. <laughs> Damn, Steven. Are you Nicole Brown Simpson's murderer? <laughs> Cause literally no one knows who you are. I, uh, right? <laughs> Perfect timing. Jess has canceled a lot of no-name comedians, but she's canceled even more no-name babies. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> Last joke. <laughs> uh, Steven's haircut is very gay. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have all heard of the mullet. Well, this is the Muppet. Uh, <laughs> oh, kill him, oh, right, well, kill him. Okay, Jess is unemployed because accusing comics of rape is the only hot topic she can manage. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, I told you, Fight Club, two of the best. Give it up for Steven and Jess. <laughs> Holy shit, we're going to pick a winner overall after all three rounds, but so far, Christine, how do you think this fight's going? I think Steven won that one just because uh, the abortion kill just like just killed the baby. Um, Life begins at conception. Yeah. We got it. <laughs> and I mean, the laughs were louder. Uh, Jess, you just sound like I did last week when I had COVID, and um, <laughs> <laughs> I like you, though. You're super cute. Um, I don't know how a person can reinvent and make a, uh, a Simpson joke, you know, like 30 years later, but you fucking did it, so I give you credit, but I'm still going to give it to you. So, so Christine uh, good thinks job. Yeah. Steven's got it so Steven's far. It. Karen Margolis, what do you think after round one? Um, I liked the joke about Steven's flaccid fingers <laughs> unappealing to women all um Jess I like that when you regret fucking someone it's a rape <laughs> um I'm considering it for several relationships uh, it would only help Louis J. Gomez's brand let's be honest I know I know I don't want him to beat me at that 40 chess you know what I mean <laughs> the rape ass podcast that's right <laughs> How do you rape, even? Rape, 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 rape. That being said, women secretly love assault, so a uh, little it's this, little that. <laughs> 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 um, 
I'm gonna give it to you. You seem to want to fuck up everybody's life, and I love that for you. Karen's got it for Jess so far. <laughs> Dalton Pruitt. Uh, well, hey, folks, once again, these are two very good friends of mine. So I, th- I want to say, v- funny people, I'm friends with both of you. You're obviously friends with each other. This was such a fun battle. Everybody, you should follow both of these people. <laughs> Especially, by the way, especially Steven, because he just shared a really good picture of his wife. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Why did everybody get quiet, man? His wife's hot. Steven, your wife's hot, man. Good job. Good job. Hot wife. Hot wife. Hot wife. Now, does anybody know, does anybody know the hot wife in the, in the sex community is actually a cucking term? So, Steven, I'm sorry, but your wife, she's probably fucking other dudes. You're looking at him. <laughs> this was this was really fun. Jess, the the OJ joke was so good. Everybody, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! There's, noise. There's too much noise in here right now. Shut your goddamn mouth! He's Everybody. autistic. Shut up! I'm autistic. <laughs> Everyone, Daffy Cuck is trying to talk. <laughs> yeah. So, Sensory wait. overload. Hold on, Matt. You know me. I'm more of a Donald. Okay? Donald Cuck. <laughs> Donald. Yes. Uh, Jess, the OJ joke was so good, I didn't get it at first. I was like, of course. Wait, everybody knows o- who OJ is. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, no, you know, I get Because I'm just racist. So I'm like, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, OJ, the black guy, he did it. But the uh, too much noise. Claire, shut up. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm looking forward to more jokes, so thank you. <laughs> Robbie Goodwin, your final thoughts on the opening round of this main event. Yeah, call that an open micer's fetus, because Jess murdered. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I really, you guys were both really funny, good chemistry. I don't get why Steven talks black, though, because you look so white, you know? Uh, wow. My trash talks like that, too. Okay, doc. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> I just think they're so fucking cultured. All yeah, right? that's Travel fucking, all right. Okay. Robbie and Steven are the two kinds of Eminem fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, this was fun. This is this is like uh, it, Claire. Shut up, man. <laughs> uh, this is she's still talking. Uh, that's fine. No, this is like if Avril. Le- this is like if Avril Lavigne saw how the skater boy actually turned out. Uh, uh, I'm gonna give it to Jess because I love OJ jokes and he's innocent. All right, Fight Club, really close. We're moving on to round two in this main event. Are you ready to continue this fight? <laughs> Four jokes straight through. We're gonna start with Steven. Round two starts now. Round two. All right. Jess talks about being bi and single all the time, but I know for a fact she had two dates last month with some hot foreign broad named Moderna. All right, Jess's parents are so conservative, they'd rather her go back to scissoring her arms instead of scissoring other ugly whores. As a teenager, Jess's dad let her drink alcohol, but her mom made her drink alcohol while she was pregnant with her. Another one. All right, last one. Uh, Jess wears a lot of mom jeans because you dress for the job you wish your mom did. <laughs> and another one. I right, pulled it out, yeah. <laughs> Jess Feeney. Damn, Steven. Are you a biblical prostitute? Because you are always getting stoned. Uh, <laughs> Damn, son, where'd you find this? You look like what I would get if I ordered Chad Kroger off of Wish.com. <laughs> Another one. Nickelback! Uh, Nickelback! 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 Uh, Steven's jobs include Mover and also Booker. Sorry, sorry, wait, I, sorry, I read that wrong. Uh, Steven's last job was to move a dead hooker. <laughs> another one. And another one. Uh, Steven also has a van that he uses for moving, specifically moving children away from their families into a soundproof basement. I... Because he flex kids. Another one. <laughs> Do I have one more? One more. Okay. 
Um, Stephen's wedding was also uh, was almost canceled due to the pandemic, but his wife wanted to go through with it. Because who wouldn't want to rush to marry a broke douchebag that looks like he comes dirty bong water? Another one. And another one. Locked it down and locked down. Hell yeah. Fight Club, give it up for round two of your main event. <laughs> We're gonna go to a third round either way, but after round two, Robbie Goodwin, what are you thinking at this point in the fight? Oh, here you go. All right, thanks. All right, this has been a recurring theme of the night, me not having the mic. Uh, we'll wrap this up. Steven has to go play at Lollapalooza. Uh, uh, no, no, I like Steven. He built my bookshelf. He did a really good job. Um, <laughs> That's, I actually, I, that is not a joke. That is true. You, you guys, these are my friends. Read him on TaskRabbit. <laughs> Fall, hi, hire him on TaskRabbit. Uh, uh, you got to rent him out. Uh, I, I just love everybody. My, I, <laughs> uh, I love you, Dalton. Don't, 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 don't. How do you feel making fun of me? Positive. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the same. I felt. I felt like that when you got an AIDS test too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. AIDS, 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 AIDS. Yeah, call me the baby, which is ironically what Jess aborted. Uh, all right. Damn. Yeah, because it was black. <laughs> Uh, all right, folks. I'm gonna. I wanted to give it to Steven because I gave it to Jess last time, and these are two of my close friends. But uh, <laughs> but Jess was better. It was a lot better. So I would feel inauthentic if I didn't give Robbie it. To thinks uh, Robbie thinks Dalton. Robbie thinks Jess took cocktail. Dalton. Happens all the time. Yes. People get us confused for sure. Dalton, you look like you vote for whichever fighter has a purdier mouth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do you think after round two? Never made it as a wise man. <laughs> Couldn't cut it as a poor man stealing, and this is how you remind me. This is how you remind me of what I really am. This is how you remind me of what I really am. It's not like you say sorry. I was waiting on a different story. This time I'm mistaken for hitting you a hard word breaking. I've been wrong. I've been down to the bottom of every bottle. These five words in my head say, are we having fun yet? Yeah. And where are the white women at? Yeah. <laughs> and where are the white women at? <laughs> Yeah, man, so that, that's how I feel. <laughs> Karen Margolis. <laughs> uh, I've, I've known none of these people. None of them have been my friends. <laughs> um, so I have no real preference. Are you guys the... Wi okay, I love, I love anybody being called anything from Wish.com. It's just so good. <laughs> Everybody, every, every single person in this room without exception, looks like they came from Wish.com. So to be fair, to be fair, uh, Stone Prostitute, Wish.com, Moving Hooker, Moving Children, Comes Bong Water, that was the weakest one. Damn, Madonna, you were never joked Scissoring, because I can't remember, homie. I can't fucking remember. I have to think about my, my eggs that are rapidly aging. You know, I was supposed to marry Lewis. Um, alcohol, pregnant. I have to give it to Jess, also because you just like came at it, girl. Like you come out with like a little scream at people. And I can imagine that it was confusing after sex if it was rape or not. So <laughs> I'm going to give it to you, you confusing bitch. Good for you. Christine Meehenberg, your uh, final thoughts on round two. I feel like the cutting joke would have worked if you ever cut your hair since you were born, but um... <laughs> fucking cousin it. Anyhow, I uh, <laughs> I only remember one of your jokes. Uh, the stone, I like the stone joke from you, Jess, uh, mostly because the stone wash jeans because fucking dated, but hot from the back. Um, and I also didn't just get the... Just from the back. <laughs> just Her from the back. From the front, I don't know. I, I, you know what I'd look at? Because um, I'm a lesbian! No, lesbian. She wears Anyhow, the jeans because she wants something about her to be dated. <laughs> uh, the nickelback joke I didn't get because I never get nickels back from my Jew husband. And um, <laughs> But I'm still going to give it to you because you fuck. I feel like you crushed that round. Wait, yeah, you really did. So kudos to you, Jess. Well done. All right, Christine. Good job, Christine. Good job, Christine. 
Good job, long hair. Cassie and Karen, both, they're both doing great. Michael, we're going to pick a winner in our final round. Are you ready to find out who the winner of this main event is? Yeah. Four jokes, tip for tat, starting with Jess. Round three starts now. Final round. Damn, Steven. <laughs> Are you a decade-long battle with stomach cancer? Because I am dying to end you. Okay? It's funny that Steven's last name is Bowles and he loves smoking weed. I guess he should just count himself lucky that he wasn't named Steven Boxful of Child Porn. <laughs> All right, Jess, if you're here, who's rolling their eyes in a family picture? Uh... <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Damn, she son, where'd you find this? She did too. I'm gonna do one more. She made fun of me being a mover. You never pay me for helping move your period stay matches up four floors. I'll get that out right now. <laughs> okay, um, Steven's wife was a mail order bride from Spain. Uh, you can tell his tongue game's on point from all the stamps he had to lick to get her here. <laughs> <laughs> Jess grew up in a halfway house, which I assume is where she grew her halfway tits. <laughs> Thank you for calling them halfway. <laughs> it's honestly a compliment. Um, uh, Stephen likes to have sex with ladyboy prostitutes. Uh, yes, that's right. He's fucked more trannies than both the Trump administration and AIDS. I wanted one. I wanted one. All right. That's my kink, but Jess has a thing for obese men. She's been stuffed by more whales than Japanese people. <laughs> Uh, in college, Steven used to be in an acapella group because just like in comedy, he prefers to perform to silence. <laughs> Last year. Uh, Jess was an emo kid. Her shirt said paramore, but the titty said paraless. <laughs> Perfect timing. Uh, yes! Fight Club, give it up for Jess and Steven! <laughs> Love the Paramore joke, because titty fucking Jess is misery business. And <laughs> what the fuck ever? You'd all do it. <laughs> or fight try. Club. We'll go to you guys first. Do you think the winner of this fight is Jess Feeney? <laughs> or after all three rounds, is the winner of this fight Steven Bowles? <laughs> I was pretty close. Um, it's men versus women, basically, in the audience. Uh, we'll go to our judges, an even amount of men and women here, too, so let's see what happens. Christine Mian Berg. Overall, all three rounds, who do you think won this fight? I feel like it's Jess. Uh, even though, like, I just want to get out of here before I get MRSA. I, um, <laughs> all your fucking dirty ass feet. Jesus. You guys are gross. Um, I feel like you. I feel like you won it across the board. I got no fucking funny quips because I just need a goddamn nap. So get me the fuck out of here. But uh, cut your fucking hair. You won. Thank you so much. You're One vote amazing. for Jess Feeney. Jess, Karen you are Margolis. such a fucking cunt. <laughs> I love you. We should. We should be friends. Yeah. Goddamn right. Goddamn right, Dalton. I love you. Um, you won this last round because of jokes that I can't remember. <laughs> halfway well, tits. It was the tit jokes. They were great. They were halfway. I felt attacked, and so that was kind of, I felt a tingle there. Um, and yeah, I mean, what can I say? Jess, you like smashed it. You accuse people of rape. You scream. Every word out of your mouth is some sort of terrifying scream. It goes to you. Overall, two votes for Jess Feeney. Dalton Pruitt, what do you say? Shit, man. Steven, you want to hit this? Yeah. Want to hit this bowl? Yeah, dude. Weed! What Weed. if I wanted to Weed. hit this? Oh, wait. No, that's a vape. Oh, fuck. You got a light? Oh, here we go. Yeah, go ahead and get high, my friend. Anyway, just one. Uh, <laughs> nah, Steven, you blew me away with the Paramore joke, dude. I knew so many chicks like Jess in high school. They thought they were sad, but they just had small titties. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> this was, I, I really enjoyed watching this. Um, I think you're both cute. I think, uh, 
I think what we what we should see is Jess and Karen fight in like mud. <laughs> you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, man, this is tough because I like both of you. But I think Steven, you you got me with uh, making fun of her titties. Yeah. So I give this one to Steven. Two votes for C, uh, for Jess, one for Steven. Robbie Goodwin, what do you think? That was a Tarantino villain move on Dalton's part, given Steven. <laughs> Here, takes this weed. Anyway, you lost. <laughs> oh, do you enjoy it? You like the weed? You're done. Holy shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, I think Jess won the, the fight overall because she crushed the first two rounds, but Steven won that round. It was just like pure fucking bangers back to back, uh, but Jess won the whole thing because she nailed the first two rounds, and I find her a lot more attractive than Steven. <laughs> <laughs> Great main event, but Fight Club, give it up for your winner, Jess Feeney! <laughs> Hey, where are the white women at? <laughs> <laughs>